Hello everyone and welcome to this new AppDriver tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to make a load more button in which we will limit the total number of items displayed in the page and then when clicking on load more it will show more items until we reach the total number of items. Let's start by adding a button component to the page under the list we just showed in the last lesson. I'll change the label of this button to be load more and I'll change the style of this button I'll make the background to be transparent and change the border shape to be medium rounding I set exact size for this button to be 200 pixels for width and let's try 75 less than this I will put it as 60 pixels I put the button in the middle of the page and add border make the border to be solid now I will add a container under this button and this container will take the same style exactly the same style as the button so I'll add a border and make the border width to be 1 to be medium as the button and make the corner radius to be medium rounding now I'll change the size to be 200 pixels for width and 60 pixels for height now I will add a spinner component inside this container and make the positioning in the middle Okay, now we have almost two buttons, one for to be shown when is the items are loading and the other will be shown when, the, when we need to uh, limit the total number of items displayed in the page. Last thing, I want to add shadow to be exactly as the button. I will see how the shadow property values are written for the button and then make the same Let's see again. And I think the better is to copy the values and paste it directly to the to the container. Yeah. 
let's copy this and paste it in the shadow color now we have exactly the same shadow for both all right let's go to the variables now and add a new page variable it will be loading and from true false value type when clicking on the button it will change the value of this uh, variable to, to false and I will connect the visibility for this button and this container to be according to the loading variable so if the loading variable is true the load more button will not show but if it's false it will uh, remove the loading button and then show the load more let's save and go to the logic of the button so when clicking on the load more it will change the loading variable to be true and then I will make a delay and then set it again let's change the value of this delay to be for one second and then change the value of the loading to false that's mean I will show this spinner for one second and then go back to load more button let's go back to the variables and now ensure that the initial value for the loading is false okay so when the user will open the page it will show the load more button but when clicking the load more it will show the spinner and then go back to the uh, first status uh, now I'll change something here the shadow is making trouble with upgiver uh, preview app so I will remove the shadow for both components now I will limit the total number of items displayed in the page by adding a variable I will call it offset it will be a number and the initial value will be 3 so I will show 3 items and then when clicking on the load more it will show 3 more items until we reach the end of the list now for the repeat width I will limit the total number of items it will not be repeated with the whole list but I will lose I will use a formula I will use a select formula which will limit the number of items displayed the first parameter will be the list and the second parameter will be the filtering uh, formula the index will be less than the offset so the index of the item will be less than of the page variable offset so if uh, when starting the page the offset will be 3 and it will show only 0 1 and 2 uh, the, the, the items 0 1 and 2 only now when clicking on the load more I will uh, change the value of the offset I will add Uh, set page variable flow function so I'll set the loading to true to show the spinner and then set page variable I'll change the variable to the offset 
and the value will be a formula like the following I'll check the total number of the items using the count function so I'll see the count function of the uh, total of the list I have and I will check if the offset is less than the count so it will be added by uh, 3 else it will be the same Let's check the spelling. Sorry, I forgot to add the page bars. And also here the V capital. Okay. I can just uh, and a page var offset uh, other than the three number. Let's save. And check if the flow is correct. Yes, I, I will change here. I'll make the delay change the uh, number of offset and then redisplay the load more button because I don't want to uh, the items to be shown before the load more button is uh, visible. So let's check now. Also, if we reach the uh, the total number of items to be displayed in the page, I want also the load more button is to be hidden. So I'll check if the loading variable is not uh, true, and also the offset variable is less than uh, equal or less than the count of total number of items in the list let's check what's the wrong here so if the page, bars, page variable offset is less than the count it will show the load more button else it will not be shown so I have two uh, conditions to make the load more button visible Now I go to the loading and bind it to a formula Also, this is the same. Let's save. Let's save the project and test it on the mobile phone.
i hope this was helpful and see you in next tutorials